Bubble nails. That's a thing. Uh, there's a new trend going around the internet and around people's fingertips. Uh, it's called bubble nails, and essentially, we'll show some photos of them. There are these fat circle nails that are very multicolored, and uh, we'll talk about how people, and you just look at them. They make you want to throw up, probably, um, but they're popular. The Today Show finally said something about them, which means that it's been around for probably two years. <laughs> um, and the story ran probably after a story about a victim who fell off a building and their parents pushed them or something. But then it was like, now bubble nails. Um, anyways, <laughs> what are your thoughts, five words or less? Bubble butts over bubble ruts. No, 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 no. <laughs> No. <laughs> Nailed it. JK, you're disgusting. I never <laughs> thought I would be so grossed out by looking at people's hands before. Like I Right. Like feet it, people are grossed out about. It surprised me. It's like they wanted to take the disgusting reaction you have when someone's like fiddling with their toes and bring that to the hands. Yep. And they've succeeded. Do you do anything with your nails? You seem pretty natural. Um, I like the natural nail look. I got to be honest with you. If I ever do do my nails, it's usually like a like feminine color, like pink or red or whatever. I'm not very creative with nails because I feel like it's very easy for them to start looking a little trashy. Yeah. And, and look, I feel bad because I don't want to be judgmental about someone else's form of expression. If they're into the bubble nails, do you. But I'm speaking for myself. I would never do it. I don't really like acrylics. I don't like big, long, fat nails. Like, I just want clean, natural looks. Yeah. Don't do you. Don't do you ever. You're That's right. the worst. I don't want to see that. Like, I like I know I sound like Bill O'Reilly or some shit, right. but it's like... It's it's genuinely interfering with my day. If I saw that when I was walking down the street, someone like trying to press the buttons on their fucking iPhone with those like like Ugh. those fat fucking nails. Oh my god. <laughs> I I don't know. What are you doing? To modify something I've heard Anna say a lot. You do you, boo, unless it's bubble nails, in which case, stop immediately. Yeah, right? never do that. And then they describe in these articles how they do it, where they take a ball of acrylic and they put it on your nail. Now, this isn't to be confused with hump nails, which are essentially that bubble thing, but they're longer and maybe pointy or square, but that, that, I guess that can happen on both. But still disgusting. The long ones are actually better for you than the bubble nails, because the bubble nails, where they have to put the acrylic that's in an area of your nail that adds stress where your nail bed is not like built to handle it. So they tell you, you can only have bubble nails for a while and hopefully that amount of time is just as long as hopefully you this know, terrible trend will last. The worst part about this isn't even necessarily that they look bad, it's how expensive they are. They're actually 12 to $15 more expensive than a regular acrylic nail set. <sighs> okay, and acrylic nail sets, depending on where you do it, could run from 35 to $45. That's a lot of freaking money. Crazy. I want a petty. I see them, it's just people with their feet in little jacuzzi. It feels and so nice. Little, little, <laughs> ugh, and people are rubbing you. My dad always wanted me to get one, and I always refused, because I, I don't know, I just, I thought it was lame. Yeah. But uh, no, now, now that I've gotten older, I'm like, I wish I got all those Manny Petties. What have I done? You get to a point where you're just like, I literally don't care what people think. Just not because I'm more confident, but just I'm so tired. It's <laughs> that's the point when you start being fully nude in locker rooms. I think. Oh I, yes. I've been trying to oh. figure out what the hump is, oh. and it's that's when you just and let it all out. They'll put a T-shirt on, but nothing underneath, and fall asleep at the. <laughs> In leather couches, and it's like no one should ever use that couch ever again. They should burn it after this is one what, use. This is what weirds me out is in those locker rooms, they still on the urinals have like privacy screens. But like you're done peeing and you turn around and it's like 90 testicles. Yeah. Like why are we why are we doing that? People Let just me don't tell you something you though. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Bubble nails, still more disgusting than everything you just mentioned. Before we go, what is the weirdest, stupidest trend that you've ever been a part of? I feel like I've always been a trendsetter pussies. in the best top possible way. Good for you. Good I'm, for you. I'm just kidding. I've followed some videos. I had a chola phase. I had oh, like oh, run yes. on the right. Yeah. Plus, you just shaved off the man bun. I did. I I, I stand by that decision 100. percent The to man shave bun it off is or like, to have it. no 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 to have it. Ugh, I loved I it. it. I loved every second of it. I'm a huge anime fan, and I always wanted to be a. Samurai, and mm -hmm. instead of years of following the warrior code, <laughs> I decided to 
you know, have a douchebag haircut and that's that's gonna satisfy me. Is there anything that you look back on that you did that you're like, I, I can't believe I did that? Just like every other um, white young American kid in the 90s through a rap phase. A rap phase. Where yeah. I, and this is the most embarrassing article of clothing I ever owned and my parents didn't want me to buy it. It was a Echo Unlimited really baggy jean, like a uh, pair of denim pants with a dragon on it oh yeah like all on the side of you. the leg God and this is the first me. time i've <gasps> ever actually love admitted it. to having this article mm -hmm. of clothing oh my and god it, and i loved it and my parents were like what the f are you doing don't buy that mine i just had these weird lace up like i had a step cut it was like a bowl cut it went down on the end it was like long and I did, parted down the middle for a while because that was what very you did. Very 90s. Shut the floop. How old? I very always forget 90s. how old you are. When you 75. Just, that's... What is the weirdest thing you've ever done in the name of fashion? Give us your thoughts and stories in the comment section below. What do you think of bubble nails and hump nails? And we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger, but only if you subscribe.